In this video, we will discuss LCM approach to solve time and work questions. I prefer this approach over the unitary method because of its simplicity. Calculation wise, uh, more or less they turn out to be same only. Uh, even if you solve questions using LCM approach, unitary approach should be thoroughly clear to you as it forms the basics, the very foundation of this topic. So let's start. Go through the question. First of all, uh, whatever days are being mentioned in the question, take their LCM. LCM of 12 and 15 is 60. Call this 60 as total work. Total work is 60 units. Like we discussed in the previous video, we can take the total work as W and get the answer or we can take total work as 1 or we can choose a carefully planned value which will simplify the calculation. Earlier we were writing a day's work as 1 by 12 or 1 by 15, right? And then we had calculation involving these fractions which was very tedious. Now the total work is 60 units. We have got rid of fractions. So A takes 12 days to finish 60 units of work. So work done by A in one day will be 60 upon 12 that is 5 units. This is unitary calculation only. 12 days to finish 60 unit. In one day, A will be doing 60 upon 12, that is 5 units. Okay. Similarly, B takes 15 days to finish 60 units of work. So, in one day, B will be doing 60 upon 15, that is 4 units of work. Now, we can add these two together to get total work done by both A and B in one day. As we have seen in the previous video, we can add rates, we can add the work done in one day by A and B individually. So together they will be doing 5 plus 4, 9 units of work in one day. So in unitary method, we used to write a day's work in terms of fraction of total work. Okay. We used to write 1 by 12 and 1 by 15 and while adding them together, we used to take LCM of these numbers 12 and 15. Here we are doing same. It is just that the LCM part is taken care of in the beginning only. So we started with taking LCM of 12 and 15 and then we proceeded further. So both the methods are more or less same only. Okay. I use these notations to avoid confusion and to increase speed while solving. This is square box that I have used. I always use a square box to denote total work and circles to denote rates. Okay, this is rate of A, rate of work of A, work done by A in one day. Okay, this is work done by B in one day. So I use circles to denote this. Now, 9 units of work gets done by both A and B in one day. So to finish total work, that is 60 unit, they will be needing 60 upon 9 which is 20 upon 3 days. We again applied unitary calculation here, right? So that's the LCM approach. We'll quickly solve a few more questions. This is how you should be solving. Different days mentioned here are 4, 12 and 18. Their LCM is 36. No need to do this to calculate LCM. Okay. For smaller numbers, you can calculate LCM orally. Uh, take the biggest number of the three that is 18. Is 18 divisible by 12 and 4? No, it is not. Then take next multiple of 18. That would be 36. Is 36 divisible by 12 and 4? Yes, it is. So 36 is my LCM. Now A, B and C together take 4 days to finish 36 unit of work. So in one day, they will be doing 36 upon 4 or 9 units of work. Okay. A alone can do it in 12 days. So A can do 36 unit of work in 12 days. That means in one day, A will be doing 36 upon 12, 3 units of work. B alone can do 36 units in 18 days. In one day, B will be doing 36 upon 18. Two units of work. Now that we have got work done per day by A individually and B individually and A, B and C together, 
वी कैन एड और सब्ट्रैक्ट दीज वैल्यूज ओके ए ए इज थ्री बी इज टू ए प्लस बी प्लस सी इज नाइन दैट मीन्स सी और रेट ऑफ सी इज नथिंग बट नाइन माइनस थ्री प्लस टू इज फाइव नाइन माइनस फाइव इज फोर यूनिट्स सो सी कैन डू फोर यूनिट्स ऑफ वर्क इन वन डे एंड वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट हाउ मेनी डेज विल सी टेक टू फिनिश थर्टी सिक्स यूनिट्स ऑफ वर्क सो फोर यूनिट्स गेट डन इन वन डे 36 सिक्स यूनिट्स विल गेट डन इन थर्टी सिक्स अपॉन फोर और नाइन डेज मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दिस इज द क्वेश्चन विथ नेगेटिव वर्क ए कैन डू द वर्क इन ट्वेल्व डेज वी हैव ट्वेल्व फिफ्टीन एंड टेन सो टोटल वर्क इज सिक्सटी रेट ऑफ ए इज सिक्सटी अपॉन ट्वेल्व दैट इज फाइव rate of b is 60 upon 15 that is 4 rate of c is 60 upon 10 that is 6 but c is breaking c works to break the wall c is doing negative work that means rate of c will be minus 6 c is doing negative work when all three work together that would be a plus b plus c we have to add their rates that would be 5 plus 4 9 minus 6 Three units of work gets done in one day when all three work together. So three units in one day, sixty units. The total work will be done in sixty upon three, that is twenty days. Okay. Next question. A and B can do a piece of work in eighteen days. B and C can do it in twenty-four days. A and C in thirty-six days. so we have uh, let's say uh, total work is lcm of 18 24 and 36 total work will be 72 okay and a and b together can do 72 units in 18 days that means in one day they must be doing four units b and c can do 72 units in 24 days in one day they must be doing three units and a and c in one day must be doing 72 upon 36 that is two units add all of them and we get two times a plus b plus c is equal to 4 plus 3 plus 2 is 9 this gives us a plus b plus c as 9 by 2 so we have 9 by 2 units of work which gets done in one day when all three work together so 72 units will get done in 1 upon 9 by 2 into 72 that will be equal to 2 upon 9 into 72 or 16 days so this is how we use lcm approach to solve time and work questions In the next video we will see one of the most important variety of question that comes from this topic that is when different people work for different durations to finish a work thank you